All right, tonight I'm doing an unboxing and review of this Husky 30 gallon air compressor. Let's take a look. So this is the review portion of this video. I've been using this now for about nine months, so I have a good idea about the things that I like and the things that I don't like. So first of all, the capacity is great. Uh, going from six gallons to 30 gallons is a big step up. But in terms of this tank specifically, some of the things I like about it is the uh, connectors here, they've put on some universal adapters, universal couplings, which make it really easy to go on and off. You can just press it in and it will connect. Um, I've done a few modifications to the drain valve so that it's easier to access and easier to clean out. Um, I've also put on this uh, lead-in line, which is rubber, which helps to prevent uh, fatigue on any other material that you have going, uh, connecting into your main line. It makes it a lot more robust uh, and lasts longer because the rubber will handle the vibration easier. I put in a valve right at the beginning of the line, right after the lead-in hose, so that I can shut off the whole system when I want to. I've run some, some uh, cheap air tubing around the shop and have four drops now um, in various places. So if you're new to my channel, I mainly use my compressor for woodworking, and so I don't have a lot of automotive tools uh, for that use. I use it mainly for blowing the air off of things um, when I'm cleaning out my shop, I'll just open it up at 90 PSI and let it, let it run as I'm just getting everything out. I use it also to spray uh, when I'm doing a spray finish. So with an HVLP gun, it's great. Uh, it lasts a long time and I can get through sometimes an entire coat on a project without it turning on at all. If, I, if I'm going from zero up to 175 or thereabouts, which is the maximum of the tank, it usually is about oh, nine or 10 minutes for it to, to run and fill completely. Um, if it's just going from the cut-in point to the cut-off point, that is uh, probably two or three minutes. One of the other benefits that I see is that because this one runs up to 175 and most of my tools um, are running 90 PSI that I'm using with this, uh, my nailers and things like that, I have a lot more time before I have to turn it back on to charge it back up. I can leave this off and not have to fill it back up for a while. Um, and when I leave the shop, I'll shut off the valve. I also like the portability of it. It makes it really easy when it has these big wheels that you can move it around pretty easily with. The only con that I've seen over the last nine months is probably the smell that you get. Uh, which, you know, when I first bought the compressor and I would run it, it's all, the smell only happens when you're running it. But as it's charging up and filling the tank, it has this real distinct smell that's probably, you know, the Teflon being broken in because these oilless compressors, the way they work is they don't have oil in their, um, in the moving parts, they have lined it with Teflon. Um, so that makes it so you don't have to put in oil, but it does 
I think that's the smell that I'm smelling. Um, it makes it a little bit louder because of that. But it is quieter than my six gallon pancake compressor, so that's a pro. I have noticed after nine months that the smell decreases. It's a lot better now. Also, so you know, this is not a sponsored review. I'm just reviewing it because I like to share the things that I enjoy using. And so it's completely unbiased opinion about things that I like and um, I've noticed about it. But if you're in the market for one, especially if you're upgrading from a small compressor, I would highly recommend it. It's a huge step and it makes a big difference. Um, I think Home Depot sells it for about $269 right now. I don't know if that prices will continue, but uh, that's what I got it for. If you have any comments or any experience with it, or maybe you've got one because of this review, let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.